This is the February 2023 Las Vegas Luxury Real Estate Market Update. Today, we talk about home prices and what it takes to get your home sold. So let's jump right into the numbers. There were 62 guard-gated sales for January, which was up from 45 in December, 71 pending sales in January compared to 72 in December, and the inventory in January is down slightly at 362 from 368 the month before. Now, one of the things that's easy to look at is the solds, but what about those homes that didn't sell, also known as expired listings? So in January, there were 55 expired listings plus the 62 homes that sold. And then we also had 111 new listings hit the market, which brings us to that total of 362 homes available at the end of January. So our experience with the Rob Jensen Company for January is that showings picked up a lot, which shows us that you know, buyers are back out in the marketplace. Um, obviously, interest rates have come down a bit. Prices have come down as well. So we're seeing more shoppers out there. One of the things that I'm seeing though as well is some difficulty on putting deals together. It's common that sellers are still using sales data from last year, perhaps last April, May, June, which was just a whole nother world compared to today's market. And then I'm also seeing buyers, you know, maybe concerned that prices might dip down a bit more and they wanna shave off a little more room on the price just because they're concerned if they buy the home today, it might be worth less tomorrow. So that's still creating a bit of a disconnect and making it harder to bring deals together. You know, a common question when I meet with homeowners to sell their home is, how long is it going to take to sell my home? You know, it's easy to look at Zillow or a postcard you get in the mail and see that, hey, that home took 100 days to sell or five days to sell. So what we did was we looked at the data for January and the average days on market was 123 with some, you know, being upwards of over 200. But when we looked at the homes that sold and said, hey, how long did it take for them to sell once they were at the correct price for the market? Meaning some homes came on the market and sold without any price changes, whereas others had to change their price to sort of get it right or be in the ballpark. So once these homes were priced correctly, 78% of the homes sold within 60 days and 93% sold within 90 days. So now let's take a look at what percentage discount did they sell for you know, amongst the negotiation process. So 53% of these homes sold anywhere from zero to 5% off of their list price. 30% sold from five to 10% off their list price. And 17% took more than a 10% reduction to get to their final sales price. But believe it or not, there were seven sales that actually went for full price. So yes, it still happens. And it's one of the main reasons why when people ask about putting in, you know, negotiating room in their price, I always recommend that they price their home better so buyers see the value and you attract more buyers and get more offers. So that wraps up the data. If you'd like more specific information for selling your house, or perhaps there's a home you'd like to buy, please give us a call at 702-605-7482. And we'd also love to hear from you in the comments do you think home prices are going up, down, or staying flat this year?